it's difficult to think about any building in the world that is disconnected from the rest. Any building in the city has a kind of a history of the building, is connected to the city, to the economy of the city in a certain specific time, is connected to the culture. A building is, is something very complex, no? The building is, of course, is not only the materiality, it's also the programmatic qualities of the building, the possibilities of evolution of the building itself. I think that we're more interested in the people that had pushed the, the boundaries of the discipline uh, in their time. They could be architects, but they could also be from politicians to artists. We look at the past to find moments in which, you know, the definition of a museum has been transformed radically, to find places in which we, we can, you know, use to do it again. We are also aware of the different definitions of what the role of the architect is. And we are really eager to embrace the notion of an architect as a public intellectual <coughs> that is able to discuss in the city and discuss the future of the city, not as a single individual, but also empowering the citizens to do so. Competitions give you the freedom to actually be able to risk and take risk. The figure of the public intellectual is that that actually is able to take risk and counteract narratives of consensus. So competitions have this double edge. Sometimes, you know, you suffer and sometimes you say like, wow, that's a great opportunity. We have like the challenge of creating a new type of museum, a museum that would talk uh, to people of our age and, and much younger as well. It seemed a perfect opportunity to embrace that figure, to actually be able to have a voice in a process that is a broad process that engages with a lot of publics, a lot of agents, and it's a process that will actually shape the future of the city.